Travis Capel of Capel Training and Shoeing. Today I'm going to talk to you about lead departures. You know, the most important thing, element to good lead departures is having complete body control of your horse. So we're going to lay this out at a walk, at a trot. We're going to talk about how to get control of these shoulders and control of the hindquarters and then put it together as it, as it relates to the canter departure. I'm going to start off at a walk here. I'm going to, I'm going to cross my reins like this and, uh, and have my hands pretty wide apart. And I'm going to just start walking a circle here to the left. And uh, I want this horse looking in the direction of travel as he's walking around. And I want that shoulder to go slightly to the outside. So the way that I get that shoulder to move to the outside is going to be with my left leg and my right hand. Notice that my right hand is slightly ahead of the shoulder. My left hand is coming back towards my hip, back towards the horse's left hip. And I'm just, I've got a little bit of life in my legs. I'm just encouraging this horse to go forward. And uh, with setting his shoulder off slightly to the outside, if they're pulling on my hands at all, I'll simply move that bit across his tongue a little bit back and forth, and that will soften them up while I'm doing this. Okay, that's the first element of getting a good canter departure because this is actually the body position that your horse will need to be in to take the correct lead, take the left lead as we're going this direction. So I'm gonna add another softening exercise to the body while I'm on this same circle at the walk. I wanna take this horse's nose to the outside now I've moved my left hand in front of the shoulder, my right hand behind it, and I'm simply walking along here on the same circle I was going before, but the horse is looking the opposite direction. Notice that my upper body is turned to the outside, and I'm essentially leading this horse's shoulder through with my left hand, with the aid of my right foot, and getting real good softness in the ability to move that shoulder. This exercise will do several things. It'll soften the horse in the pole, in the neck, in the shoulders, and in the rib cage. While we're going forward, we're increasing drive from behind, and we're gonna need that as we do our canter departures. 